Welcome to the uh, the Shangri-La Billingili Resort and Spa. Uh, I'll give you a tour of our villa. We're in uh, Villa 225 and it's really windy uh, and rainy as well. But I'll show you what our villa looks like. So there's a set of villas over there as well. I'll show you all that on the map. They're really, ni really nice and large villas. You get free bicycles uh, around the resort because it's quite a large resort. Alright, it's going to leave this towel outside. Hopefully it won't blow away in the wind. Uh, but that's the place. Shangri-La's Villingili Resort and Spa in the Maldives. Hopefully it won't blow away in the wind. If it does, it's not my fault because uh, I'm not the one creating the wind. Alright, so this is the place. Just got in, so I thought I'd make a video uh, uh, before you know, it gets used too much so you see what it's like when you get here. So you get a living room. Let's quickly walk around and then uh, TV. A uh, balcony with your own pool. It's called the uh, Indian Ocean with uh, thousands of miles. So it's quite a large swimming pool. Uh, the main hotel is just over there. Let's quickly walk around. Bed. So living room. It's a large place actually. That's the main entrance. Just came in through. Yeah, the other part of the hotel. Bathroom at the back. Your store area. Sports fans, greetings from uh, Shangri-La Villingili. Yep, red bag. Toilets in there. Uh, bathroom. Outdoor shower. Bathroom. Bathtub. Yeah, so welcome to uh, Shangri-La Villingili. It's a two-hour flight from uh, Mali. So we got here about an hour ago. It was all right during the flight, and then just in the last couple of hours, it's got like this. It's really windy outside, as you saw. Uh, yeah, so you, when you get here from Mali, you cross the equator. So that's a certificate to say you cross the equator. And we're just shy, just south of the equator, uh, Shangri-La. It's the southernmost resort uh, in, Mal in, in the Maldives. That's the resort map. We're in 225, which is just here. Uh, it's 3.4 kilometers all the way, 3.4. It's a large resort. We've got a nine-hole golf course there. Clubhouse for the golf course. Two sets of uh, old water villas there. They've got some uh, villas on the on the island itself over there. Another another set of villas down here. Main entrance, the lobby, all that area is called the village. It's there. You get here by boat, five minutes from Ghana Airport. Uh, the village, which is where all the centre bit is, that's where all the restaurants. Uh, got medical clinic, uh, swimming pool, bar, shops, uh, and so on. Yeah, that's the place. Various activities you can do, eco centre, different days, different things. Yeah, happy hour, all that. Yeah. So that's next door. That's, that's, that's outside. Yeah, you can see it's raining. Uh, the water's quite choppy as well. Look at that. That's why I got myself off inside quickly. One good thing about it raining is that it's actually, when windy, it's cosy to be inside rather than outside. Yeah. It's TV, they've got Star Sports playing Kabaddi. Kabaddi, Kabaddi, Kabaddi. Uh, waiting for the cricket to start. Yeah, so the main, uh, the main entrance to the hotel, uh, it's basically, okay, I'll show it from the other window. That's the other set of uh, water villas that you saw on the other side. So we're like in the middle set. It's room 225. Those are one, these are two, and then the other ones are three. Yes, yeah, so that's what your villa looks like from the outside. They're all the same uh, sort of plan, as it were. Yeah, you get a little sofa here, it's quite nice. On the bed. Now I'll, show, I'll tell you how windy when we got here. That center was okay. There was all these ferns, little fern things, and they'd written like "Welcome home." And uh, we opened that door for about three seconds, and all the ferns had got blown away. Yeah, that's how windy it was. Yeah, bedroom. See the cabinet on here. The cabinet on TV. Right, I'll show you where in the world we are. Show you Lars Willingly Resort and Spa. So that, so you see that's the, that's, that's the this room, uh, there's another set of rooms further along, lobby and so on, so up here, so it's the Shangri-La's Villingili Resort and Spa, the airport to come here is called Ghan, uh, Adu City, which is a little bit smaller, that's the next one, so that's Ghan International Airport, yep, Ghan International Airport, and it's the southernmost atoll, this round thing, that, it's the southernmost atoll in the Maldives. 
If you look at that blue dot, that's me. It's making smaller. All the other atolls are further north. Yeah. So it's two hours on a plane from Mali, which is sort of in the middle. If you go south, it's way south of the equator, and there's no more. You get to British Indian Ocean Territory, and then it's the South Pole after that. Yeah, I'll show you. If you're going down. Yeah, that's Antarctica, alright? So that's where we are. And that's the world. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. What else should we look at? Show you the mini bar and stuff. Yeah, those are welcome drinks that you get. It's quite nice coconut juice. Yeah, you get good mini bar. Like that. And uh, like that as well. So you get beers, champagne, all that stuff. It's pretty good. Ice bucket. It's not cheap. So, uh, let's have a look. Gin, 375 mils, 70 US dollars for 70, 375 mils. Uh, bottle of Coke is $6. Yep, can of Coke, $6. Yeah, what's that one? Yeah, an espresso machine in there. Espresso. Um, yeah, so I got started on the gin. One base of fire here. Yeah, those are the activities I've got today planned. Sharp presentation at four. Happy hour at five. Hopefully it'll stop raining. It's not safe just going out like that. Okay, so look at the rest of the place. I'm seeing if you can see the main reception from here. No. Yeah. Just the bathroom. You get a bathtub like that. It's their own brand of toiletries. Shower gel and so on. With the Shangri-La sign on. It's an outdoor shower. Just covered half. See how choppy the water is. Look at that. If you fall in, yeah, it's not nice. Pink toiletry bag. Now the sink is quite nice. Okay, look how look how the water comes out. You press pull this. It's like that. It's not like a tap. I don't know how you do this side. But anyway, it's like that. And it's in three dimensions. Just twiddle it round and round. Down and stop. Yeah. Sports fans, greetings again. Yeah, same on the other side. Shower, indoor shower. Yeah, it's a very luxurious place. Uh, I paid 600 pounds, just, just over night, 600,000 US dollars a night. Because uh, I booked in advance, but I think it's more than that if you don't. Yeah, red bag, waterproof. I can chuck that in the water outside. Jump in, Let's see if we've got the logo. I haven't looked at this yet. Nah. Clothes hangers, yeah, a couple of wardrobes. Alrighty, so that's a tour of the place. Well, uh, we'll just go outside onto the balcony. I haven't been out yet. I told you, we opened the door five seconds. Yeah, it's really windy. Hits you straight in the face. All right. I'm not going to go down there. So those are the other villas. It's over there. The golf course is up there as well. Yeah, it's the first time I've come out here, to be honest. Uh, that's the uh, airport island, I think. Just over there. It's called Ghan International Airport. I do city, or I do town. Yeah, when it's sunny, you can sit on there. Uh, the hotel's photo in the Shangri-La magazine is that. Uh, I think there's a little, I think there's a little island out there. Is that a boat? Yeah, I can't see it from here. Yeah, I'm not going to go out there. It's windy. I don't want to fall in. Then you won't get to see this video, will you? All right, we can just about see that I'm standing on. I'm standing on the, uh, the sofa that you get here. You get main entrance or the reception. You can just see it under there. It's that arch thing. And I tell you, the boat parks there and you get in there like that. Alrighty, let's get back in. It's not safe out here at the moment. When you check in, you check in in the room. And room service, they take your passport and stuff and they said, we'll bring it back. So they just, uh, they just call the butler called up. It's too windy, it's not safe to come out. Like this and I agree with him. It's not safe at the moment out there. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. It's a tour of the Shangri-La Billingley Resort and Spa, an overwater villa. And we'll finish the video. Those are all the Shangri-La hotels in the world, between the sea and the sky. We're in here somewhere. Yeah, I've been there. That's in uh, Muscat. I've been to a few of these.
Not to show, I meant the Fiji one. I've been to other ones, other places in Fiji. This is us. Shangri La Billingley Resort and Spa. Yeah, so that's that water deck with the, yeah, that's fixed on the, was the, the weather was like that, which hopefully will be tomorrow, because we only just got in uh, an hour ago. It's Borokai. Yep, oh no, I've been there. Oh, there's Malaysia. Yep, been there. Singapore. Yeah, I've been to a few of these. Been there, Malaysia, Penang. Yeah, good hotel at Shangri La. Been there as well. Alrighty, so that's it. We're asked to get the flight changed tomorrow to a bit later. So four flights a day back to Male. Yeah, it's a day in and out from here. So I've asked for a later flight so we can get more time here because it's nice. Alright, ciao. Bye.